morning, everyone, and welcome to the morning show. Good morning, Andy. Good morning. Uh, beautiful July morning, the 11th, and 68 degrees right now. A high today of 88 is a possibility. Yesterday it got up to 84, and we could see some showers this afternoon. Wednesday could be particularly stormy. Really? Yes. Shoot, I have some outdoor activities planned. Yeah. Let's take a look outside at the Tina Cam on top of the Blake. Hey, it's Tina from Hometown Heating, Cooling and More. I'm up on the Blake building looking at the city. It's beautiful, but you don't have to come up here. You just tune into JTV. I've told Tina not to do that anymore, <laughs> um, and she is not listening. So, uh, beautiful day. Beautiful day outside. Do you know what building that is? On the left there? Yes, we discussed it yesterday. <laughs> it's Nelson Tower. Yes, I didn't discuss it with you. It might have been discussed on another program. It was discussed on another program. <laughs> was it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well I was not yeah. there for that. It's not, it's not Nelson. Brandon wanted to buy a unit at the Nelson Towers. They were only was, like 20 grand. They were like 24,000, but yeah. I think there was an HOA. Mm -hmm. That was absurd. Yeah. Uh, absurd for Jackson, it was like over 700 a month. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, uh, people do call it Nelson Towers, but there's just one. I don't know if they Where have planned that? to make more than one, but. Maybe. Maybe. There's, <laughs> yeah, I don't know anyone that uh, lives in there anymore, but I used to. I used to. I hear stories about people that live there. <laughs> <laughs> Sad news out of the uh, tourism area of the state in Frankenmuth. Mrs. Zender has passed away. Dorothy? At Dorothy at the age of 101. Wow. Amazing. Her and her husband started uh, the first of, uh, feels like hundreds of their businesses in 1950. Amazing. Bavarian in Lodge, Zenders, of course. You've had many Zenders chickens. Uh, I might have had two. Really? Yeah. You didn't like when we all went to the Bavarian Lodge <laughs> Inn as a family? Well, there's two different places. There's Zenders and then there's the one across the street. They own all of them. They do now? I think so. No, I think it's two different. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm not, on, I'm not up on the uh, politics mm -hmm. of the whole thing. Were you, did you go with us when we stayed at that water park slash hotel? Unless you would have left me at home as an eight year old. <laughs> yes. No, it was a wedding. We had a wedding a couple. Yeah, actually it was, I think my grandmother paid for everyone to stay there. Oh, you're talking about the most recent wedding? Yeah, like during the pandemic. I s didn't stay overnight. I drove in and out, but I think my grandma, Rita, paid for like the whole family oh, to go nice. to go there once mm -hmm. and then yeah we didn't go back but that was that's a very cool very cool place so sad news today is food truck tuesday and there are more than a dozen food trucks uh 13 actually oh wow baker's and, dozen actually well i think uh one two three twelve there are twelve hmm. and including including uh some local favorites pb and j barbecue that sounds good yeah, and interestingly, there's no peanut butter and jelly involved. Really? Mm-hmm. So it must be like... It's their names. Pat, it's Bart, and Jim? Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Mm -hmm. All sounds good. Uh, get there at 11 o'clock. And Tiki Sam's Pizza will be there. And tonight, kids can take a pizza-making class at Grand River Brewery. Pretty cool thing they're doing. They have their uh, pizza chefs teaching kids how they can make a pizza. And for $15, you get the class, you get a pizza, cheese and pepperoni, of course, and a, a soft drink. Very good. Yeah, and you can register on the Grand River Brewery uh, Facebook page or visit Today in the J on JTV.TV and sign up for that. They had one for adults last week and it was very popular, so now it's the kids' turn. Very good. Mm -hmm. The uh, MLB All-Star Game is tonight. I watched a little of the Home Run Derby. Um, can you name an all-star? No. Really? Even after watching the Home Run Derby? No. Vladimir Guerrero Jr.? There you go. Yeah, you watched him last uh -huh. night. Can you name the one Tiger that will be in the all-star game? Uh, uh, Brandon? Uh, Lorenzen? Yes! Michael Lorenzen. Lorenzen. Oh. Like a 420 ER. Yeah, he's a right-handed pitcher. One six. Right, what are we doing? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I don't. History made last night a, uh, a son one, uh, yes, and the father one. Uh, years yes, ago. there were a lot of father sons there yeah. last night. I, uh -huh. I enjoyed it. I had a hard time watching it because the uh, the hit would leave 
the ballpark as the next pitch was coming in, so it was hard to watch the split screen of what was happening. I was concerned for the kids. I thought someone was going to get bonked. Me too. Me too, but they all uh, sign an insurance waiver ahead of that. Um, you know it's Amazon Prime Day. You, uh, you know what? I, I don't, don't participate in that. Either do I, and yeah. I don't even have an Amazon account. How about that? I know it's hard to believe. Really? Yeah. I don't believe it. It's true, I don't. Hmm. I do not. If I need something on Amazon, I will ask my wife or my mom. I think there's a big problem with all these Amazon uh, drivers um, yeah. parking in the middle of the Tell road. Tell me about it. We had one come to our lemonade stand the I other day. That. You saw that? And yeah. they had to get out and do the GPS mm -hmm. and then didn't buy the lemonade and They're not, they, backed into my car on the way out. They don't even come in Amazon trucks anymore. No, they come in just Ford just, Focuses or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Uh, speaking of Prime, I've been receiving late night text messages for people concerned that I'm drinking Prime energy drink. Mm, I'm not. It's dangerous. That's what I hear. Yeah. Um, we're drinking the sports drink. That. We're drinking that one. In There's the several sports versions. Bottle. I found out because uh, your nephew, my grandson Jim, asked me to stop at Kelly Express to get Prime to get a Prime, and uh, there's one that's got. 5,000 milligrams of caffeine. So it's just like all the other things. If they're in a can like that, it's an energy drink. Mm. So what'd you buy them? Well, I bought the one with all the caffeine. I, You're I, kidding me. I didn't know. It opened like a, like a, it had a pop top? No, I think it had a twisty. There's no caffeine in that. Oh, well I bought no. the wrong one. There's like 60 calories, it's a regular drink. Would you like a Pull the picture back up. <laughs> If the bottle looks like that, it's safe. If it looks like an energy drink can, like you're holding, uh -huh. even though it's not an energy drink, and I don't even think there's caffeine in root beer. I'm holding, yes, there is. Uh, this one, a and root beer, is caffeine-free. Okay. And the, ca the uh, root beer at Culver's caffeine-free. But a and root beer, would you like this? Yeah, sure. I brought this today because um, three it's people 19, filed 19. a class action suit against a and because the cans said made with aged vanilla and it turns out they weren't. Really? So if you bought, if you bought an A&W uh, root beer uh, in the last uh, five years, you are entitled to $5.50. Hmm. And if you can prove you purchased the soda, you can get $25. Good luck proving it. Brandon, do you know who owns A&W? Seven up, Brandon. Seven up. Seven up properties. Ugh. Uh, Keurig. Really? Uh-huh. Keurig owns it. That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Amazon owns it. <laughs> Crazy. Um, the, uh, you know, I've, we've been following the uh, Jackson Southwest softball players. They won yesterday, and they play today at 11. They're in the quarterfinals, so good luck to our Southwest oh, wow. Little League softball players. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, there is a strange headline I saw, uh, CVS mm. is in trouble. Really? Yes, eight Ohio CVS stores are dangerously understaffed. Well, have you been to the ones in yeah, Metro West Detroit? Ave. West Ave? Well, I, I don't know, it's your CVS. Um, the one I went to in Metro Detroit had no one working in it, and this was last summer. Really? No one. In, uh, no one. Kitty Hawk. The, the pharmacist didn't show up. Remember, grandma couldn't get her uh, prescription. But apparently uh, there's not enough, uh, they have dangerous uh, drugs laying around the CVS. You don't say. Yes, and month long wait times for your prescription to be filled. Month long I think you, uh, wait times. That's why we have okay. Brown's Advanced Care. That's a good reason to go to Brown's. Brown's. Mm -hmm. Brown's Advanced Care. Uh, the city is getting started with a couple construction projects. Uh, what are they? Well, paving, they, right? Paving. paving. Two long, bumpy roads are being fixed. Ooh, uh, that fixed. one's special. Yes. Uh, resurfacing projects on Wildwood Avenue and North Wisner. They're getting started and they'll take place through August. You still wash your car at that car wash there, Brandon, across from picture this? <laughs> <laughs> That's been closed for 20 years. <laughs> so a uh, new pavement along with sidewalk and driveway repairs. And this section of Wildwood includes Jackson High School. So they're going to uh, start now and get it done 
before school starts. And they're tearing down half of uh, Sharp Park Academy. Have I have noticed that? that. I have seen that, and I've avoided taking pictures of it. Mm -hmm. um, and they didn't even take uh, the little kids uh, put their art projects up on the oh, glass. Oh, that's not true. It's true. They, <laughs> they put their art projects up on the glass in the walkway between one section and the other, and the construction crews came in with a backhoe and just obliterated all the uh, What do you do with your artwork? kids? What do you do with all my artwork? It all goes <laughs> to the same spot. It all goes to the same oh. spot. Uh, Northwestern football coach Pat Fitzgerald. Wow, is he, uh, well, he's no longer the Northwestern football coach. He's been fired by the university amid the hazing uh, accusations and reports. Yes, and oddly enough, he was he was not fired because they were one and eleven last no, year. No, it doesn't matter what their <laughs> football. Brandon and I have been discussing this. He is he was Northwestern's chosen boy, really. He's so he, he could do no wrong. Um, so uh, it sounds like this is not going to go away quietly. Uh, in a statement, Pat Fitzgerald was surprised, and mm -hmm. I believe he has hired counsel. Not surprising at all. Right. Um, this is not Penn State by any means, but we'll find. We'll need to find mm. out what happens. Yeah, uh, it was uh, the Northwestern Daily, the student newspaper, that uh, broke the story because one of the uh, athletes uh, anonymously went yes. to the newspaper and yes. told the sordid story of yeah. the uh, hazing. Uh, uh, I've got an interesting story from last night. Uh, our very own Noah. Baker, mm -hmm. um, we don't have a photo, but he was bit. Bit? Bit. By bitten. Bitten? By, by a dog. Dog? Yeah, he was bitten by what, well, he didn't know the difference between a poodle and a golden doodle. He thought he got bit by a poodle. His dog and a poodle got in a street fight yesterday outside of a cookout. And <laughs> the somehow Noah was on the ground and he's got bite marks. He even got bit on the rear end. <laughs> I'm glad we don't have a picture. I would imagine But that. he's walking around with all these bandages and cuts and um, got me thinking, you ever been bit by a dog? <laughs> Probably. But I would guess that Noah instigated. No, he did not. He did not. We got the full story. Noah had nothing to do with um, this other than trying to save, save his dog um, from being attacked. So. Speaking of animals, there's a problem at the Toronto Zoo. Apparently, uh, zoo goers are showing the gorillas videos on their cell phones, so much so that the zoo has posted signs that says, do not what? use your phones to show photos or videos to the gorillas. Some content can be upsetting and affect their relationships and behavior within their family just like humans. I wonder what videos they're watching. I don't know, it's probably- Other gorillas. Other gorillas. Yeah. It's like, hey, I got a video of a gorilla that's not in a zoo. Yeah, how about- I don't know. So maybe they're attacking the phones. It's like the like a bird flying into a window type situation. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> hmm. I've never been to that zoo and I probably never will. Love Living in Jackson, presented by Heather Herndon. Each week, Heather reminds us why it is wonderful to live here in Jackson. And there are so many reasons, so many great festivals. Let's talk about the Hot Air Jubilee. One example of all of, all of the great festivals here in Jackson is the Hot Air Jubilee. It's celebration of the 40th anniversary of the event with the added feature of the women's national balloon championship women's competition flights will occur july 17th to 21st leading up to the uh, hot air jubilee which is the weekend of july 21st to the 23rd visit hotairjubilee.com for all the details and the 40th hot air jubilee is presented by trips collision nice i've got uh, some financial uh, news for you. The price of stamps on Sunday went up. Mm -hmm. How much does it cost to mail a first class letter? Right now. 53? 66 what? cents. 17 price increases since 2000. That's crazy. Yeah. Two increases this year alone. Well, we have plenty of stamps. Mm -hmm. So Our uh, stamp, our uh, postal facility on Elm is being completely renovated. And I think they're, uh, some of the mail, they're just, they're just throwing it in the river. Just a guess. And the Powerball jackpot, 
uh, has reached an estimated 725 million mm. after no one matched last night's numbers. Seventh largest Powerball jackpot and the Mega Millions is at 480 million. So if you won both, you could win over a billion dollars. If you won both. <laughs> well, good luck. Both. Good luck, folks. The odds, probably not probably that good. Not, probably not that good. Probably mm -hmm. not that good. Uh, Brandon told us we have to do something next, but I didn't hear. Even What's going on in the Enchanted Forest? Ah, the Enchanted. Great place to eat. Yeah, oh, the Enchanted oh. Forest Bar and Grill. Our show is brought to you by the Enchanted Forest Bar and Grill, located at 3705 Ann Arbor Road. They have great banquet facilities, a uh, wonderful brunch and Bloody Mary bar that kicks off at like 7 a.m. on Sunday. You can catch me there at 6.45 a.m. in the parking lot waiting. Good outdoor seating. Awesome, too, out for the summer. awesome outdoor seating. Tons mm -hmm. of space. Tons mm -hmm. of space. Are they setting up for Food Truck Tuesday yet? I would assume that there's a few. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's some trucks down there. There's a couple there. Three, four already. Wow. We should have Tina parachute in <laughs> off the Blake one of these days. <laughs> Look at all that wiring up there. Yeah. I so would just it's going to be an awesome food truck. Tuesday. Yeah, it should be a, uh, a great food truck Tuesday. Who's on the show today? We've got a wonderful show. We're going to get things started with Tim Walls from Barker Weber Insurance Agency right after this. Serving the greater Jackson area for over 25 years, Tamrock's Automotive knows that your life does not come to a halt because of a concern with your vehicle. Our mission is to provide extraordinary service for every customer, every time. We offer pickup and drop off service, free loaner vehicles, free car wash, and a three year, 36,000 mile nationwide warranty on most repairs. And yes, your vehicle will be diagnosed on the same day of your appointment. Our extensive health and safety inspections, our professional technicians, and state-of-the-art technology will ensure that you know the current condition of your vehicle. You can make an informed decision on the repairs made to your car or truck. When your ride is at a standstill, but your life is not, take it to Tamrocks. Automotive repair you can count on. With all my other bills, what am I gonna do when something else breaks down? My stove? My furnace, my plumbing. America's preferred home warranty is here for you. When a major home system or appliance fails, our award-winning customer service can help you protect your investment and your wallet. Call APHW now. Mauer's Sunshine Car Wash is proud to be a professional and fast service in the Jackson area. You can relax and let our friendly staff clean your vehicle to a shine. Open Monday through Saturday, 7.30 to 6.30, Sunday 9 to 5. Or use one of our many self-serve bays, great for all vehicles, car, truck, or bikes. Try our other locations. Brooklyn Auto Wash in Brooklyn. Center Wash on Page Ave. Keeping your vehicle clean for over 25 years. Mauer Sunshine Car Wash on Ann Arbor Road. Our new Express Oil Changes and More building has been a huge success. Not only do we have the best oil change prices, we top off fluids and do a 33-point inspection. All while you enjoy fresh-baked cookies, coffee, and popcorn in our new lounge. This month is our Jeep Freedom Day sales event with special pricing on all new Jeeps. Stop out to Extreme Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Jackson, just off I-94, exit 141, or online at ExtremeDodge.com. Hi, I'm Phil Tripp from Tripp's Collision Centers in Jackson, Lansing, and East Lansing. And I'm Barb Tripp, inviting you to join us at this year's Hot Air Jubilee at Ella Sharp Park, July 21st to the 23rd. From the balloons to the car show, the kids' kingdom, and the food court, the Hot Air Jubilee is family fun from the start to the finish. Celebrating 40 years, we'll see you at the Jackson Hot Air Jubilee.
Today's show is brought to you by the Commonwealth Commerce Center. Tons of uh, facility rentals available still for your wedding season. Also uh, catering available as well. Check out Commonwealth Commerce Center. Our show today also brought to you by Just As Nice Resale Shop. If you are on a budget, this store is for you. New items daily, store changes inventory constantly. They're a small business with a big heart located at 1931 Horton Road in uh, the plaza right behind Crimson Oak and Doc Penn's office there. Yep, right next to the ABC Bakery. That's right. Yep. Uh, joining us now from Barker Weber Insurance Company, Vice President and Benefits Executive, Tim Wallace. Hi, Tim. Morning, Barker. Hey. Morning, Andy. How are you? Oh, perfect. Good. Summertime in Michigan. Summertime in Michigan. Living good. Yeah, summertime in Michigan, a uh, great time for Brock Warburg because you guys are involved in a lot of the <laughs> summertime yeah. Jackson yeah. events. You know, so we have conversations around the house often, you know, where my wife may seem to think we do too much. <laughs> slow down, slow down, slow down. I really think it's Jackson's fault, right? They just yeah. have too much good stuff going on. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, well, when we talked earlier, you guys talked earlier in the show about the Hot Air Jubilee yes. coming. I think that's next weekend or something. Mm -hmm. So we'll try to get the kids to that. We've yeah. got Gus Macker coming, I think, the same weekend. It is. Yes. Yeah. So it'll be downtown and Ella Sharp Park will be busy. Um, I know we've got a laundry list of volunteers signing up for cool. Gus Macker. And the last I heard, maybe I was supposed to be paying a little bit better attention in that meeting, but the last I heard, there was popcorns and kid games and giveaways nice. and very cool. All the good stuff for kind of a family-oriented event. So that'll be a fun fun weekend yeah, coming sh up. should be a, a lot of fun. Anyone from the office playing in the uh, Anyone smacker? playing? Ooh, that's a good question. Because hmm, you do have some athletes on the team. Well, we do have some athletes. Do we? Do we have people playing? Yeah, I, well, I mean, I mean like we had a lot of good athletes in the 90s and yeah, maybe like in the, the 80s. But that's the thing, the I 80s, 90s, maybe the, even the early 2000s. I don't know if you have any current athletes. I don't think we have. I don't think we have anybody playing. Boy, that's a tough question. I'll find out and send an email. I mean, it's hard to play when you guys are uh, busy supporting all these events, but. Yeah, you we, like, we love it, yeah. we love it. What's, what's your family's favorite event? Because you guys go as a family, and I wanna know what the kids, what do they like to do? Oh, What's man. their thing? Yeah, that's a good question. We do everything as a family. I yeah. take the kids everywhere, yeah. you know. Shopping, the Sam's Club, you know, golfing. We golf. Yeah. We swim, everybody, everywhere we go, we take the kids with us. So what's their favorite? And can I give you like top two or top sure. three? Well, it has to be outside, I mean, it just has to be. So I would say Cascades ranks up there, yeah. top two or three, they love waterfalls. We usually buy like the season pass and go. Oh yeah. We haven't gone yet this year, so I feel kind of guilty as You're gonna the need dad to saying it's July something and we haven't gone. Um, we love to bike as a family. Swim as a family, so 4th of July, yeah, 4th of July, we bike from our house, which of course is by Queens, out to Lime Lake. Nice. And we did it. Everybody, you know, and then kind of met family out there and swam and did that kind of 4th of July stuff. But I think it was 10 and a half miles from the house. The 11 year old did it, the nine year old did it, Christian Wills both did. Nice. And uh, Henry rode along with daddy. Um, so that was fun. So I would probably say like, something physical and something outside yeah. the cascades or the bike rides but it's really cool that we have so many things yeah that we can do and it was a few years ago people thought there was nothing to do that's right it was too much it's too much it's, it's just too, too much, much to do that's, we have to that's do why i get in trouble at home it's not my fault for saying yes to everything it's not too much no it's, it's just it's, it's just fantastic right. well the thing is there's something for everybody yeah you know, so if you like the hot air jubilee or golfing, I mean, yeah. there's something for everybody. Just get outside, it's summer. I would say the growth of Jackson has uh, aligned with the growth of Barker Weber. Uh, we get to see it kind of firsthand because we take your new hires headshots, yeah. but yeah. you guys uh, you guys are hiring uh, quality people and, and really building a kind of a really strong family over there. Well, and you, you said the right word, it was, it was family, mm -hmm. you know. I think there was, uh, a few years ago, maybe three or four years ago, we kind of sat around as a leadership team and said, you know, like we want to be more intentional on being family focused and family oriented. And, you know, can we 
be intentional about hiring people for the culture yeah. and the relationships and instead of like a, a tactical knowledge of a specific item, mm -hmm. you know? And so I think, you know, fast forward three, four years, like we're starting now to see the, the dividends of yeah. those investments and those relationships and mm -hmm. the, the people. And I would, I will personally say like, we've never had such a good staff mm -hmm. and like it's it's good to know that you know when you're when you're in the trenches you got good people that are surrounding oh, yeah. you and you know like hey let's just do it yeah. roll up the sleeves and and get it done so you said the right word family and you know i used to have an email every monday that goes out that starts with barker wherever family yeah just a recap of the week so it's uh you hit, you hit the right word there yeah. with, with family andy for sure i actually i text uh dan about uh, uh insurance need i think the july 3rd late night and he had had someone with me on the on the fifth in the morning and it's yeah that's that's the kind of company you guys are to work yeah. with so very cool uh interesting story out of california and i thought you might find this interesting um Two major insurance companies have stopped new home policy sales in California, um, and they're citing wildfires, inflation. Just yesterday, a I whole mean, bunch of homes went sliding into a ravine. Yeah. So these, these companies are obviously protecting themselves yeah. from these large, large payouts. Um, interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. You know, we've seen that a little bit in Florida as well. Okay. Hurricanes kind of come through and yeah. take some people out from the financial strength perspective you know all of our carriers are incredibly sound and safe yeah. they're all you know oh, yeah. rated as high as you possibly could get and we actually represent a lot of michigan based companies mm -hmm. which i think is fantastic and so you know you look at michigan we have the occasional hailstorm or right. so you know bad thunderstorm something like that but in general we kind of we're get okay a free pass on, <laughs> yeah. you know the earthquakes and yeah. the Tsunamis oh, just, and the you know the big stuff. But. Yeah, I just think it's you know people are going to continue to migrate away from California yeah. for sure, um, for sure. The state of Michigan is worried that people are leaving, but you watch, everyone's going to come here because of our climate. Our, oh yeah, I, I mean it's yeah, yeah, yeah. we're uh, the, we're the, lo the land of the future. We should put that on the side. land, land of, of the future. Land of the future this will be the number yes. one state. We, we have tough competition. Mm -hmm. We have to dethrone what Texas and Florida, and we'll get it. We'll be fine. We'll, well we, don't we, want, have, we don't want a lot of people. We don't want people <laughs> moving from Florida here. <laughs> no, we don't, we don't we want We sent that. them all down there, didn't yeah. we? Here, half of them down there. So you brought some uh, photos uh, that I think illustrate the growth of the the, the growth of the agency. The, family. the growth yeah, of the, the growth family, of the family agency too. Right? There, uh, yeah, so this is. This is in Petoskey. That is somewhere, that is Mill Creek Campground, okay. right outside of Mackinac. Okay. Um, we had the, you know, the chance to go up there about Father's Day in June, and of course, safety first, being the insurance guy, so everybody get, <laughs> gets their gear on. I love that. Uh, yeah, Christian there is 11, Wills is 9, and Henry's 3. So this was a Jackson event. This was the Rose Parade. It was downtown, went right outside the JTV studios, and this was see Dan's family there and, and Robbie and Steve's family were there and Crystal and had a great turnout and uh, you know beautiful weather I was kind of a, you know volunteered to get the candy and you know Steve <laughs> kind of said yeah I don't know how many bags of candy we'll need maybe we'll need two or three you know yeah. so I'm like well if you think we need three I'll get six just to double up and you know, I think our candy was gone in the first half a block, you know. <laughs> we gave every, everybody under 10 was responsible to hand out candy, and candy was getting, you know, handed out in the, the handfuls, if you will. Look at this family. That is the crew. That's the Father's Day trip up north at Mackinac. Chris is 11, and Wills is 9. Henry's 3, of course, and Caroline is 1. Two, she'll be two in November. So I actually had the pleasure of coaching one of your boys for a yeah. uh, soccer season, and I they are that, outstanding athletes. And I was going to ask I think you about that. Was this. Will's? I think you coached Willie. So these guys are—they're uh, pretty good golfers. Well, we enjoy the sport. Well, yeah. that's very humble of you to say, Tim. But you guys enjoy it. They're—they're they're doing pretty good. They're—they're <laughs> they're doing well. So this is a tournament called Drive, Chip, and Putt, kind of put on with the USGA and the Masters tournament and the PGA. Just an absolutely fantastic yeah. event. You know, the kids get to hit three drives, three putts, and three chips. And um, Christian performed incredibly well. The 11-year-old, nine-year-old Willie did excellent. Um, they all made a putt, which was cool. fantastic. You know, yeah. I think they're officially kind of 
better golfers than me at this point. <laughs> it happens around that age. I know, it's just where it, what happened. But yeah, so they both made their six foot putt and Willie made a 30 Aww. footer or something That's like great. this crazy. Well, Tim, That's the baby girl, Caroline. This weekend we went out to McCready awesome. Reserve and I don't, we walked four or five miles or something and just enjoyed nature and the trails cool. and stopped for a photo session, I guess. Awesome. We appreciate you sharing the uh, the fun of your family and the yeah. uh, the fun of the agency. Well, we appreciate you guys. Thanks for all the headshots. Oh, of course. Yeah, well, we've got another couple coming up, so awesome. Stay tuned for more growth. Vice President at Barker Weber, Tim Walls. Up next on the morning show, Dr. Penn. Stay tuned. At Consumers Energy, we believe change is imagining. Change is big, small, clean. Him, them, us, you. Together, we can bring clean energy to Michigan and protect the environment for generations to come. Learn about your clean energy choices and how you can become a force of change. ConsumersEnergy.com slash change. Family owned and operated make professional tree care your choice when it comes to your property. Our certified arborists will examine your landscape and handle all your trimming and maintenance needs. From tree removal to tree trimming and stump grinding to lot clearing, PTC gets the job done. Professional tree care is proud to serve members of the Jackson community using cutting edge equipment and your satisfaction is our guarantee. Visit us online at ptcjackson.com or call 517-499-2820. The secret is out. Jackson is a great place to live, work, and raise a family. We are people with community pride, school spirit, and deep roots. The secret is out. Jackson has great parks, home to some of the best golf in the country, and boasts more lakes than you can count. With unique, locally owned shops and restaurants, we have a little something for everyone. Hey Jackson, the secret is out. The Heather Herndon team with Howard Hanna Real Estate Services, serving the Jackson community since 2005. At Hometown Heating, Cooling, and More, we know how important family is. That's why we've been a family-owned and operated business since 2009. As an authorized Daikin dealer, we're dedicated to providing the best heating and cooling services for your family's comfort. So, don't sweat the heat or shiver in the cold. Let our family keep yours cozy all year long. for a new hangout? Town Bar in downtown Jackson is Jackson's oldest bar and has food and drink specials every day of the week. Whether you're looking for a quick cocktail or a bite to eat for lunch, Town Bar is the perfect spot. Join us for daily happy hour specials and make sure to check out our popular karaoke night every Monday starting at 9 p.m. Find us on Facebook at Town Bar Jackson for more information and upcoming events. Food trucks on the 13th. There's a lot of food truck opportunities. This one is at Keeley Park. It's uh, Jackson Food Truck Festival, the second annual, Thursday, July 13th, Keeley Park, 4 to 8, right here in Jackson. <laughs> it's food truck week. It sure is. Yeah. It sure is. And there's going to be food trucks at Grass Lake Traffic Jam on uh, Friday. They've got a lineup already. And Saturday, too, two days of fun. In downtown Grass Lake, we'll be there and we'll look forward to uh, seeing you. Sign up for the uh, the 5K. That's always a great start to the event, plus great music and uh, so much more for the fun for the whole family Friday and Saturday in beautiful downtown Grass Lake. Last week, Jennifer and I had an opportunity to talk chiropractic in sports with Doc Penn. Let's take a look. Welcome back to The Morning Show. Hope everyone's having a uh, great day so far. Our day is about to get a little bit better because we are welcoming in from Penn Chiropractic Center, Dr. Randy Penn. Good morning, Doc. Good morning, Andy. Good Welcome to back. See Thank you. Thanks, Jennifer. We're going to talk about today one of, the, one of the only topics I get right in Trivial Pursuit, sports. <laughs> sports. I know That's you always awesome. look at me with no, you were, uh, funny so, little smile on your face when you say sports. Well, you were not an athlete, but you were a mother of athletes, right? First of all, I was a really great athletic supporter. I was a cheerleader. And, that and is, we 
ran circles around the football player. I'm sure, just you, so you, know I'm sure you did when they were in a huddle and under a timeout, you ran around. But Mo not no? true. No. Moving but on. Anyways, so here's a, this is a perfect example. You've got, a, you've got children competing That's in great. sports that you have no idea about what they're doing. I mean, you just say competing in sports, I have no <laughs> I idea, know. period. But um, Randy's actually helped Katie through, she used to do gymnastics. Mm -hmm. And she's been in dance for years, and she had a big growth mm -hmm. spurt, and mm -hmm. um, with that came some injuries to her knees and things like that. But she just keeps trudging along, so she is in track now. So for so all of those, actually not just students, because we keep threatening to do a 5K <laughs> for mm -hmm. like three years we've been threatening it. If somebody <laughs> is starting to do something new, mm -hmm. what, what are some things they should be doing to be best practices for them? Well, I would start by, by really checking their, their entire system, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we, when, we're do, when we're looking at athletes, we're looking for their gait. We're not just mm -hmm. looking at, let, let's say, back pain or neck pain, right? We're focusing on how are they moving. And so if their posture is off at all, we always look at posture first. So if posture is off at all, we want to make certain that we're in the best posture okay. before we start mm -hmm. any kind of exercise, right? So. Um, any, any shoulder tilt, pelvic tilt, if you see a foot flare, if you know they're running and you see, you know, why is, is that foot mm -hmm. always, there's a high likelihood mm -hmm. there's some alignment issue somewhere along the way, somewhere in the chain. Could be in the foot, yeah. it could be in the knee, we don't know, it could be in the pelvis, yeah. but that's kind of where I would check is I would always look at posture first yeah. and, mm -hmm. and parents can do a home check. Mm -hmm. You know, you can look, just, See if, you're, if your your child's shoulders are level. If mm. they're slightly off at all, Do you feel self-conscious right now. There's a there's a I high likelihood, yeah. right, yeah. that Here, something is off. Do I have to stand to do it? You can stand if you want. Can I do it with heels? Yeah, I think all you right. can. My balance. How's you her have a slight head rotation. Shocking. How's her gait? Well, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tethered. She's on a tether. Your shoulders are actually f fairly level, just slightly anterior in this oh, plane. Oh, that's from doing this, not right. Yeah. right. Yeah. So well, yeah, technology, especially kids looking down. Kids on their phone and their iPad, right? So that's a big deal. Yeah. Randy taught me that you do this yeah. every morning and every night, and yeah. I do. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. It'd be so. a lot worse if I didn't. <laughs> um, so when you think about that, mm -hmm. I, I think about our parents um, and, mm -hmm. and my dear neighbors. And it's like mm -hmm. they get one thing fixed and then something else is wrong. And it's because mm -hmm. they probably overcompensated or mm -hmm. adjusted the way they were doing something because of an injury, mm -hmm. putting more pressure on another area. So when you say that about mm -hmm. making sure your overall is, mm -hmm. is in good shape, can you prevent other injuries? Without question, when you have when the posture's in in good alignment, that tells us that that the nerve system then is better is is functioning better. Mm -hmm. When the nerve system's functioning better, it's telling all the muscles what to do, the ligaments, tendons. The nerve system controls and coordinates seventy trillion cells. Seventy trillion cells. Seventy trillion. That's what makes us up. So plus. Just seventy trillion. That's a lot. Little that's pieces a, of that's Andy. A, that yeah, is a lot. That's a lot, lot of, of work, pieces. right? Yeah. It's a big. It's a big job, and, yeah. the, and the nerve system is one of the least understood, really. We're getting, neuroscience has really taken us to a whole different level, okay. understanding mm -hmm. how, how important the nerve system is to keep balance so that other body systems are yeah. performing. And that's really, when we, go, when we talk about sports performance or changing sports, we gotta make sure that the body's in the best posture, because then, if posture's the window to the spine, mm -hmm. And then the window to the spine, which is posture, is the window to our health because okay. it's the window to our nerve system. Okay. Yeah. Right? You, you know, uh, let's talk about a little bit about youth sports. It's turned mm -hmm. into this just giant uh, trophy chasing, traveling, hotel staying, Facebook You're posting. You're not kidding. Uh, mayhem of people living vicariously through their parents trying to have athletic achievements that their parents wish they had mm -hmm. but what that means is we're traveling all over and we're playing so many games with mm -hmm. these kids on different surfaces right yeah. um, mm -hmm. just the overuse is that something that we should be worried about I think so big time and had be multiple sports at the same time I think is really challenging especially yeah. on a growing developing you know spine and nerve system and muscular yeah. skeletal system so um and emotionally right quite frankly it's it's when we're having to do du dual sports i mean just think about it on the pro level how many of the really made it right. at that and when they yeah. did the they didn't go so hot right. for most of them 
but the idea is um, we I think we need to kind of back off I think it's a great point mm -hmm. that we need to we need to you know I think one sport at a time is probably reasonable I mean sometimes it's you know they overlap a little bit yeah. sure. but the idea is if we're pushing and, and we've got you know, game after game after game at high intensity, mm -hmm. and, they're, and kids are trying their hardest. And yeah. the kids are, I mean, yeah. they're not going to back off if, if, you know, if they're in multiple sports like that. Yeah. And, but there's a lot of chance for injury and overuse right. type injury. And at a young age, that can be really, yeah. you know, really tough because then later on in life, then now we're, mm -hmm. you know, we're battling right. things that. I know you trick. I know you treat a lot of overuse injuries and mm -hmm. um, yeah, you won't notice it when you're 10, 11, 12, 13, but maybe yeah. you turn 18, mm -hmm. 19, 20 and uh, you know, those joints are a certain, a certain mm -hmm. thing that was bothering you. It's just flat out overused. It needs to be yeah. repaired. Yeah. It's, it's, um, it's a great point. Again, guys, it's the vast majority of adult health issues are childhood mishaps, mm -hmm. whether it's sports injuries or falling out of a tree or, yeah. or just stumbling or falling off a bike that maybe went undetected. Right. How many falls did you have? I have hundreds of yeah. falls. I mean, I trip over the pattern in the carpet. I'm the most uncoordinated person <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> and lots of boo-boos. Yeah, so it's, it's for real, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we've got we've to protect the, uh, the framework, yeah. right? And so About it gets missed, though. If we're not, and we don't, when we're younger, when we fall and we get hurt, Yeah we heal so fast because we have all these enzymes, these proteolytic enzymes that break down mm -hmm. some of the scar tissue that could be building up. Well, when we sprain something later, mm -hmm. we don't have those enzymes. Yeah. And now we get this scar tissue that builds up and we don't heal as quickly. Yeah. How about uh, someone who feels good, just wants to improve their <laughs> overall performance? Mm -hmm. We're all looking for an edge, um, you know, whether we're a uh, a committed athlete or just someone wants to do better for our health even if we feel okay um, we still we still should come see you doc well I think that's oh, it's really been that's really where we specialize yeah. Andy is it's not only just helping people get well from an injury which a lot of people that's when they're coming but it's to help them stay well once they get well is to really help them stay well mm -hmm. so I've been getting adjusted for 35 years so um, or 37 years now Wow. So, yeah. and how long you've been? How long have you been? Uh, been in practice? Uh, in practice? Is it thirty? It's been thirty. Well, yeah, it's just yeah. over thirty. Isn't that wow. amazing? That's so. awesome. Awesome. Is it? Do you still get the charge? Well, you must get a charge when you mm -hmm. see results in your patients. Oh, yes, yes. It's a. Uh, I mean, it's it's the kind of thing where I can't wait to get there because yeah. we know we get to see miracles nice. every day. Yeah. So it's we're blessed with an amazing group of patients, and they mm -hmm. tell their friends and. And so it's, it's really kind of, it's exciting because every day we know that there's going to be challenges and that we have solutions for the vast majority of them. Doc, and, oh, Doc what's the best way to, uh, to start the process, whether uh, you're in pain uh, mm -hmm. or just, just want to learn a little bit about their body and, and mm -hmm. possibly seek some treatment? So on the wellness side, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you don't have to have, like you said, you don't have to be in pain or a crisis to get checked. In fact, that's the best time to get checked yeah. because then it's more subtle and then we can really go into a program that helps them get there quickly. But I would, I would say probably our website or you know just call for a complimentary consultation. But uh, docpen.com, there's a way to kind of investigate some things. And you know the other site is that Disc Centers of America yeah. in Jackson. That's got all kinds of research and things if they're really, if they've got disc issues. But What is that? Uh, Disc Centers of America, that's okay. a group that we joined. Oh, nice. And um, it's really just, it's a group of doctors that basically have kind of banded together that are really yeah. focusing on disc issues. Nice. So they're really good. The, uh, and one message too is, is don't wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do not wait. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of people plan their, uh, plan their visits around uh, activities, but the longer you wait, just the worst it's going to be. I mean, mm -hmm. it's pretty cut and dry. Yeah, unfor yes, unfortunately, things, even though the symptoms may go away, yeah. the problem mm -hmm. still exists. So we can't just, we don't always focus, we don't just chase the pain. Sure. Yeah. Because if we're just chasing the pain, that's just a palliative thing. We're going for function and performance. And, okay. and so if we're just chasing pain, and once the pain's gone, we're not doing anything, then we're missing, I think, really the, the opportunity to go to a higher level. 
you say that about function and performance, and that's mm -hmm. one thing that I really appreciate about chiropractic care in general is the overall health, especially when you talk about our kids. Mm -hmm. We have them so busy. You remind us, don't be feeding them fast food. Mm -hmm. Fuel their body. Mm -hmm. You know, if they need certain supplements, or like you mentioned, we don't get enough vitamin D here, especially mm -hmm. the majority mm -hmm. of the year. Mm -hmm. So you can help us with supplements and things that improve mm -hmm. us that way. Um, you mentioned that about my posture, and I know that's from being mm -hmm. on my phone nonstop. So mm -hmm. just those reminders to mm -hmm. put that down. Um, I know that I appreciate for myself and as a parent. So I hope other parents will heed that and, and get in to see you. Yeah, absolutely. I hope so too. Thanks. I so. think that's really the goal is to educate them first and, and then take them to that next level. Thanks, Doc. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks, Andy. Dr. Penn from Penn Chiropractic Center on the morning show. We'll be right back after this quick break. Miller Shoes in downtown Jackson has been providing fit and comfort for over 84 years. Are you feeling the love from your running shoes? Try New Balance Total Fit, where 88 points of fit combine to embrace every angle of your foot for a sensation of pure anatomical pleasure. And let running feel the love. Our shoes, like your feet, come in a wide variety of widths and sizes. From the very narrow to the very, very wide, from the long to the short. Shop downtown Jackson at Miller Shoes. Where our family has been serving yours for over 50 years. At Runway Party Store, you'll find all of your everyday convenience items, smiling faces to help you find what you need, and daily specials fit for any meal. Visit us today and check out our newly remodeled location on Michigan Avenue, just south of the Jackson Airport. The Gus Macker Jackson is coming up July 21 to the 23rd. Come on down, there's tons of fun. The Heroes Tournament is Friday night, and that bracket has already been set. So if you want to watch the uh, police play against the firefighters or the uh, rehab specialists play mm -hmm. against the EMTs, Friday night, visit macro.com slash local slash slash Jackson MI. Show today also brought to you by Vermeulens. Thank you to Vermeulens for sponsoring today's morning show. Our next guests are working on the 29th annual learning fair, Angela Klobuchar and Albert Rosner. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank Great, you. Great, thanks. Al is just back from a European vacation. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and we took uh, our youngest, our two youngest daughters graduated college, and that was our their trip. We took a yeah. awesome. Flew into Paris, did a cruise all around Italy, Spain. It was fun. Nice. Did you stop by any uh, Italian manufacturers when you were uh, there? Actually, I tried to get into an institute. It's a robotics institute in Genoa. But I never got anything back from them. But I tried. I wish <laughs> should have talked. I would have had an opportunity for that for you, actually. <laughs> so we've got the 29th <laughs> annual uh, learning fair. Uh, yes. Tell us about it. Where and when? Well, on the front lawn of Northwest Elementary School on Lansing Ave. Go and where you teach. Yes, yes, absolutely. Proud to say. And this Thursday and Friday. And um, on Thursday, it starts at noon and goes until 7, so that we have an opportunity for those working parents as well to enjoy it. And Friday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And uh, Al is uh, head of STEAM Lab, the STEAM factory at uh, Jackson College, but yeah. been a longtime uh, team member at uh, Northwest Schools. This on the campus of Northwest, bringing in people from all over the community, not just Northwest. Absolutely, yeah, and it's kind of funny you're touching on something that's been on my mind this year as I've been preparing, that it is so amazing and meaningful that when you're walking through the fair and, ex and watching all these kids experience all these different hands-on activities, mm -hmm. that it's just people from all over Michigan coming out of their own areas of Michigan and sharing in one place what they love to do and the amazing things that um, people are doing, whether it be with science, art, or manufacturing, 
and you see it all in one place, some amazing it, things going on. It's cool for kids to learn outside of the classroom. Talk yes. about this type of learning environment. Yes, well, kids are often told, don't touch, you can't do this, that would be dangerous, right? And then how do they know what they love to do? Yeah. And at Learning Fair, that's just, it's the direct opposite. Mm -hmm. um, and when you get to experience something, that's a much deeper learning experience, so. And manufacturing is a big part of the learning fair. Yes, that's, that's yes, your it's area. a big part of Jackson, big part of the learning fair. Al has and a really neat exhibit planned yeah, we'll, this year. We'll have really a, um, valuable. We'll have two virtual welders. So oh, nice. Very uh, cool. Flav Stump, I don't know if you know Flav, but Flav is uh, from Technique, and um, he's the lead technician from Technique, and he'll have some Technique U students there. Um, and then um, he'll also, I don't know if you know, but Flav is actually going to be the new manufacturing teacher at Northwest. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Very yeah, nice. So, so that would be great. So awesome. Go Mounties. How, uh, how does the learning fair work? Do you show up with uh, your kids? Yeah, the, it's funny how many phone calls I get right. from people in the public asking exactly do do? that. Do we have to sign up? Or You don't do anything. You just show up and enjoy and plan plenty, allow plenty of time. Okay. There's plenty to do for a whole day that's... There's a food court and free lunch from noon to three for 18 and under, and then a food court for the parents. And um, you'll need it because, <laughs> like I said, there's enough to do for a whole day. Some parents have told me they had to come back and finish on the next day because That's they didn't cool. get a chance to do everything. So, Some shots <laughs> from uh, last year. Yeah, that one there is um, Uniloy from Tecumseh. Okay. They come up and they literally take, they show you the resin of the plastic, the preform that the water bottle is made from, and then they put it in a mold in a portable oven and heat it and blow mold it into a water bottle. And it is so rewarding to watch the kid's face when he <laughs> opens that mold and there's the water bottle, you know? <laughs> yeah, so many hands-on activities. Uh, kids just come prepared to get your hands dirty. Right, and parents come prepared to just relax and let them do. That's cool. You know, the, the last thing you want to do is hurry them through. How many uh, setups do you have? Uh, or how many, uh, vendors is probably the wrong word, but how many exhibits? Exhibits, yeah, yeah right. Vending is exactly the wrong word yeah. because the person who um, provides this for the community does not want parents to worry about right. a money thing. Of course. Right. Just come and enjoy. Um, and I, you know, I should count. I don't know offhand how many. I know what my map looks like, and I know it's bigger it's than big. last year. Every year it gets bigger, and I'm super excited about that. Yeah, people, they can, um, they can bring money because there will be some things they might be able to buy, it, right? Yeah, there's um, two fundraisers where you can make your own caramel apple for a dollar, and that supports the Northwest Equestrian teams. Nice and um, cotton candy for a dollar, and that supports the Northwest robotics teams. Um, other than that, it's just concessions. There is one other exhibit cool. that you can do the free hands-on activity, or since it doesn't have a sponsor, you can pay a, a donation and make it to keep, or you can just make it for the fun of the activity. But uh, otherwise, there's you know 70 some odd activities that are absolutely free, and admission is free. And yeah. Is there transportation? There, there is not. No, okay. no, we are not. That is not something in this location that we've been able to work out with busing. Right. Um, we're not near a bus stop, mm. so. How long have you uh, been involved with the learning fair, Angela? This must be my twenty-second year, oh I believe. Oh my gosh! Wow! Yeah. Amazing. It makes me feel old uh -huh. to say thanks. Did you think you'd but be working on this for twenty-two years? <laughs> I knew once I started I couldn't stop. <laughs> I can say that. I still can't imagine, I don't know what I'll ever do. Like when I retire as a teacher, I'm not doing that anytime soon either, but I <laughs> yeah. can't imagine retiring from this. I, I'm sure people just, are very happy to hear that. Yeah, it's rewarding to do. <laughs> I was at the of. very first one. Really? Yes. It was and I was not, so he's been around <laughs> wow. longer than me for this. It was at Spring Arbor University. Okay. Yep. And it was uh, started, and I think even to this day, an anonymous benefactor yes. uh, yes. funds it. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Yep, yeah. it was their idea and um, what they wanted to provide for the kids, and they made it happen. All right, real quick, Al, the highlight of your European tr trip. The highlight. Coming back to us. Oh, I that's, think that's <laughs> always a highlight, right? I well, tried. I, I've got a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get picked up. Uh, no, we stayed one night in Marseille, and, and uh, that was right during the riots. 
and the next morning the girls were at breakfast and the girls said dad did you hear all the fireworks last night and i said oh my yeah it wasn't really fireworks i said oh. it was more of the and she was like they were like huh what and then i pulled my app up and showed them the article <laughs> oh. <laughs> but but the i mean glad it was didn't know at the time yeah, oh, i would yeah. say that the the beach that we stopped in abiza spain was beautiful that was just a mm -hmm. beautiful spot and awesome. i would go back there again all right, you can hear more about Al's adventure in Europe <laughs> and all the other cool things at the Learning Fair this Thursday and Friday. Thanks to Angela Klobuchar and Al Rossner. Uh, the Morning Show Thank wraps you. up after this. Our new Express Oil Changes and More building has been a huge success. Not only do we have the best oil change prices, we top off fluids and do a 33-point inspection. All while you enjoy fresh baked cookies, coffee, and popcorn in our new lounge. This month is our Jeep Freedom Day sales event with special pricing on all new Jeeps. Stop out to Extreme Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Jackson, just off I-94, exit 141, or online at ExtremeDodge.com. There are few more beautiful historic places in Jackson than the Michigan Theater. But the Michigan Theater isn't just a part of history, it's a vital part of this community today. We host hundreds of events each year, including classic movies, local, national, and international live music. The combination of our majestic building with our modern entertainment technology makes the Michigan Theater a special place. Please consider becoming a member for only $25. Your membership will help preserve this incredible entertainment venue for generations to come. Do you do landscaping? Yes, we do. Our landscaping is creative and innovative. We'll make sure your yard is beautiful. Do you do irrigation systems? Yes, our irrigation systems are top of the line and will be designed to fit your watering needs. What about lawn care? We do that too. Our lawn care services will continue to keep your yard healthy and help it grow. Wilcox Lawn and Landscaping, serving South Central Michigan since 1986. Since 1873, Spring Arbor University has gone by many names, but one thing has remained constant. Our commitment to providing an intentionally Christ-centered education for all. Spring Arbor University graduates are leading the way in nearly every field and industry. We believe that spiritual growth goes hand in hand with academic discovery, an idea that has been core to our mission for 150 years. Let your light shine at Spring Arbor University. Walt's Health Foods, celebrating 50 years in Jackson. The ever popular fruit baskets are available year round for any occasion and can be delivered locally, shipped anywhere throughout the country or even picked up. With a staggering supply of supplements, Walt's Health Foods also carries groceries and specialty food items. Visit us at 102 West Michigan Ave in downtown Jackson today. Welcome back to the morning show. Are you going to Faster Horses this weekend? No, I'm going to miss that this uh, year. Me too. Uh, shoot. Darn. <laughs> uh, labor strife. Uh, UPS, they might go on strike. Uh, all the writers and actors, uh, hotel workers in California, and UAW. <laughs> yes, they might be going on strike, and they're starting their bargaining. And normally, the UAW and the uh, auto execs shake hands at the start of negotiations. They didn't. They're not doing that this really? year. Really? Yeah. Oh, boy. It's a signal the negotiations may be contentious. And that would have a big impact on our community. Of course. Yeah. Yep, it will. Let's hope sure. they get it all settled. Yes, I hope so. Uh, tons of events coming up. We're heading into, like, huge event weekend season. You mm -hmm. got the Gus Macker coming up, Relay for Life. Um, hot Air Jubilee, and then the fair. So much oh going my. on. So much going on. Yep. Busy summer in Jackson. Join us tomorrow. We'll have Rick Olney from Jimmy's Towing along with Stanley Cup champions John and Pat Mano and the owner of Frosty Boy and Vandercook Lake, Danny Aminati. Later today, Heather Lazinski, Rick Chambers, Bryce Davenport, Hunter Sullivan, Dave and Tom Crow, Gary and Ken Veenstra. All later today. We'll see you then. Thank you.